This is part 103 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the cube function in SQL Server. Cube in SQL Server produces the result set by generating all possible combinations of columns specified in group by cube. Let's understand this with an example. We have this employees table here. Now we want to write a query that's going to group salaries by all the possible combinations of these two columns, that is gender and country. So there are two columns by which we want to group salary. So what are the different possible combinations of these two columns? The first combination is we want to group salary by both the columns, by both gender and country. That's the first combination. We want to group salaries just by gender. That's the second combination. Group salaries just by country, third combination. And we want the grand total. In this case, the salary is not grouped by any specific column. So that's the fourth combination. The result set of our query should look like this. So if you look at the result set, notice the first three rows. We have the salary grouped both by country and female gender. And then we have the salary grouped just by female gender. Then we have salary grouped by country and male gender. And then we have salary grouped just by male gender. Notice country column is null. And then we have the grand total row where both the country and gender columns are null. And then the last three rows, we have salaries grouped just by the country column. In this case, the gender column is null. Let's see how to achieve this using group by cube function. So let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. Within our result set, we want the country column and then gender column and then sum of salary column. Let's give this column an alias. Let's call this total salary from employees table. And we want to group by. Now, if we say group by country, comma, gender, then within our result set, we are going to get the salary grouped just by both the columns, country and gender. We don't have the other combinations, that is, salary grouped just by country column, salary grouped just by gender column, and the grand total. Now, if we want all the different possible combinations of these two columns, then we can use the cube function in SQL Server. So now we can say group by cube, and to the cube function, we pass the comma separated list of columns by which we want to group salaries. So in this case, you know, by country and gender. So when I execute this, notice now we get 12 rows. And within our results that we have all the possible combinations of these two columns, that is country and gender. So notice the first three rows, we have salary grouped by both the columns, country and female gender. And then the fourth row, salary grouped just by female gender. Notice country column is null. And then we have uh, salaries grouped by country and male gender, salary grouped just by male gender, and then the grand total. Finally, we have salaries grouped just by the country column. Now, we can also rewrite this query using a slightly different syntax. So we can either say group by cube function, and to this, that function, we pass the comma separated list of columns, or we can say group by these two columns, country, comma, gender, with cube. So when we execute these two queries, we should get identical results. So first of all, look at that, 12 rows from both the result sets. And the output also should be identical. Now, we can also achieve this using grouping sets. Let's look at that in action. So let me make a copy of this query. So select country gender sum of salary as total salary from employees, group by, and I'm going to use grouping sets. Grouping sets, and then we specify our groups here. So first, we want salaries grouped both by country and gender. And then we want the salaries grouped just by country and then salaries grouped just by gender, and then the grand total. So let's, so that's our first grouping. That's our second group. That's our third group. And then finally, grand total. So when we execute this, we should get the same result. Look at that. 
you know it's identical to what we have got using this group by cube query now again this is equivalent to writing different group by queries and then using union all let's look at that in action so I can also say I want let's actually make a copy of this query so we want those three columns from employees table group by country comma gender so this is going to give us salaries grouped by both the columns and then we can use union all and we can say okay give me country comma gender so gender is going to be null in this case so this is going to give us salaries grouped by both the columns and then we want salaries grouped just by country so select country um, for gender it's going to be null from employees group just by country column and then we can apply the union all operator and then we want salaries grouped just by gender in this case country column is going to be null we want to select gender from employees table and we want the salary to be grouped by gender and then finally we want the grand total for grand total both the columns are going to be null that is both the country and gender columns and we don't want to use group by because this is going to give us the grand total so now when we execute this you know we should get the same result as of the above queries so first of all notice we've got two 12 rows but one thing to notice here is that the ordering of the rows is slightly different if you want to control the ordering use order by okay so if you look at the combinations we have got using this union all it's the same as the result of the other queries so we have first the salaries grouped by country and by gender that is the first six rows salaries grouped just by country notice the gender column is null and then we have salaries grouped by just gender in this case country column is null and then the grand total so we have different ways of achieving the same result but the best way to achieve this is by using group by cube function so here you know the first query we are using cube with group by the second query is using grouping sets and here we are using union all to achieve the same thing thank you for listening and have a great day